An external USB mic for under 50 bucks? Let's check this out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out this. This is the Toner Condenser PC Mic TC777 and it has a built-in USB cable. This is about one and a half meters long so it gives you lots of flexibility and it has a USB 2 on the end so you can plug it into your Mac, your PC, your Linux machine. You can plug it into your PS4 but it ain't gonna work on your Xbox or your smartphone. If nothing else the smartphones don't have that sort of plug, right? But for devices that have that input, it's a really nice little mic. It's really straightforward. So let's start with some specs. But first, let me pop off its little foam shield so you see a little better what it looks like. So this has 44 kilohertz, 16-bit sampling. So it's not pro level, but it's good. 100 to 16,000 hertz frequency response and a signal to noise ratio of 56 decibels. So it's intended to be, it's a cardioid pickup. So it's intended to have you speak into the front and then it's gonna try to minimize the sound around you. So this is not the kind of mic that you put in the middle of a table and everyone around the table gets an equal voice, right? Well, they get their voice, <laughs> but some voices are gonna be louder than other voices. It's just how that's gonna work. So easy to remember, it has the logo on the front. Now, it comes with the tripod and base and everything, and it's flexible, but I'm not sure why you'd use it in this situation because you want to be talking into the front. So, what's this? This is what's known as a pop shield. So, a lot of people, when they pronounce their P's, they tend to sort of spray a little bit. So, that is not hygienic, but more importantly, it ends up sounding really weird if you're on, you know, if you listen to the radio or you do a live call or something and you hear someone that's just really popping those sounds, it's not good. We'll do a demo in a minute and you'll see what I mean. But generally, I don't do that, so I don't really need it. But the idea is if you find that you are popping your peas, <laughs> then you just put this in front of the mic and then it sort of just protects this mic and the shield a little bit so that that sound, that effect sort of gets a little bit minimized. Pretty handy. Now, the tripod and the base, you can unscrew the tripod if you want to mount this on something else. If you do that, let me see if I can do that without having everything fall apart. Okay, so if you do that, that's a 5 8 inch screw thread. So that's a pretty standard thread. So you could mount this on a stand, for example, if you didn't like the little mini tripod. But the tripod's pretty handy. This is a full setup. So all you have to do is, you know, buy this, pull it out of the box, plug it into your computer, and you're pretty much good to go. Both on the PC and the Windows side, it will automatically do the right thing. And that's pretty hard to beat. So let's see, I've told you all the basics. It has the pop filter, cardioid pickup. It's good for streaming, podcasting, vocal recording. It's good for video conferences, right? So if you're doing something like Zoom or Skype or web meeting or something, then you can actually use something like this just off camera and sound way better than everyone else. That's what I do, actually. I have a separate microphone because I don't really want to have the headset and everything. I don't want to look like a gamer if I'm on a professional call. So all that's included. There are some issues, but before we get to the issues, before we do that, let's just do a demo, right? So got a Windows PC and I'm just gonna plug this in and then I'm gonna use Voice Recorder. And Voice Recorder is pretty easy. It comes with Windows. Not the greatest app in the world, but it's functional. You plug in your microphone, it's automatically recognized. It knows what to do. And then you go into Voice Recorder and you're ready to roll. So. I'm going to do this and then I'm not going to use the pop shield because like I said, I don't need the pop shield. I wish you could take it off. This is a, you know, one size fits all. You can't take the cable off. There's very little flexibility, but at the price point, it's still pretty sweet. So what we're going to do is I'm going to record this and then I'm going to play back the audio that the PC got. So let's do that first. And... Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, but we don't know how many peppers he picked because he didn't have a pop shield. So that should be good. Now I'm going to stop that recording and I'll save it 
And now let's hear what that sounds like, direct audio on the PC. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, but we don't know how many peppers he picked because he didn't have a pop shield. So there you go. So it's not great audio, but it's quite good audio. And it's definitely gonna be better than what you'd use with the microphone built into your PC or Macintosh. So there's lots to like about this. It's small, it's portable. Couple of issues. Number one, as I already mentioned, there's no flexibility. This is what you get. So if you don't need the pop shield, it's just going to sit on the back. You know, if you want to um, use a different wire because maybe you have a different connector, you're out of luck. You'll need an adapter. I don't like that. There's also no mute button or power button. So if you're doing this and you're like a gamer and you're using this as your gamer mic and you want to like mute because it's like, Mom, I'm in the middle of a game. I don't need you to tell me that it's dinner time right? <laughs> Just spinning out scenarios. So if that's the case, you would literally have to unplug the mic and that's clumsy. That's not a really great interface, but removing all of those additional features is how they keep the price way down and it's pretty way down. So before we get to the price, which is really all that we have left to talk about, before we get there, let me just ask if you can subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate when you do that and I get access to tons of gear and I'm super honest about the pros, the cons, the good, the bad. So obviously as I am with this. So definitely subscribe, click or tap on that button and we're good to go. Now, this is the toner condenser mic, PC or Mac or Linux or PS4 and it's the TC777 and it will cost you $41.99 at amazon.com. That's right, $41.99. That is a remarkable price for a piece of technology like this. So if you want to up your audio game, if you want to have better sounding podcasting or streaming or when you're on a Zoom or Skype or a web meeting call or something, or you're a gamer and you just want people to be able to hear you better, this is definitely something to check out. And with that, I'm going to get back to figuring out how many pecks of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. <laughs> You try saying that. <laughs> and I'll catch you in my next video.